don't mind the mess in the background, but it is another video on the iBook G4. Hopefully something somewhat interesting. That's a DVD case. What I'm going to do on it, I'm going to install Ubuntu 1204 LTS on this PowerPC Mac. Yep, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Okay, so without further ado, let's get this damn thing open, get CD in. And hold down the C key to make it aware to boot from the DVD. Ah, yes. That worked. Let's just boot into the live disk. This is a 1204 Precise Pangolin LTS version. Ah, there we go. We'll do 1204. The screen is a little dim, so... I can finally give that uh, DVD drive a run for its money. Because <laughs> it's not really being used all that often. All I'm just going to do now is just wipe the drive and uh, put Linux on it. Screw around with that a little bit. We'll just see if I can uh, get all the hardware working. You know what, I'll just get back when uh, Ubuntu has finished loading. I just decided to pick up at this point again. Now we finally got some video on the screen. Everything is loading. Okay. Getting there. This isn't exactly the fastest DV drive in the world. Okay, let's look at that. Device not ready. Firmware missing. Okay, so we won't really get any wireless, I see. So we're gonna have to fix that. Although I'm pretty sure that uh, the Ethernet will work. You know what? I'm actually going to try something. I've got this uh, little end stick here, which is not really... Well, it's supposedly compatible with macOS, so I'm just guessing it's only for like 10.6 and up. I'm just going to put that thing in there. And the uh, other way around. Let's see what the response to that. Device not ready, but it is detected. Okay. Hmm. Might actually get away with that in the future. Okay. Install Ubuntu 1204 LTS. Wicked. This is just going to take a long time. I know this is not a particularly uh, fast machine, so... Okay, I'll be back when setup is has decided to start. I was just about to give up and actually install 10.04 instead of 12.04, but uh, 
it eventually decided that it would want to start up a uh, setup so I can actually install this thing. Hmm. It thinks the wireless adapter is a is a Wi-Fi network. Yeah, I just need to remove it from the blacklist when it's installed, because I can't do that right now. Replace Mac OS X with Ubuntu. That's what it says right there. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. The full 80 gigs are going to Ubuntu. Four partitions will be deleted. Oh, I didn't know it had that many. Okay, well, now I do. Clearly. Yeah, it is just to fiddle around with. Sooner or later, I'll just uh, put it back up uh, with OS X, but... There we go, Amsterdam. Really not quite as quick as from a USB drive, but... This particular iBook does not like booting from USB, so that's why I just burnt it to a DVD. Because I don't have any CDRWs around here, and I do have DVDRWs, so I'll just use those. Keyboard layout. US International, dead keys, yep. This keyboard sure has some dead keys. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's in good shape. Really. Alright, let's type in this shit and then I'll be back. Okay, that's done. Now it's just going to copy the files. And then hopefully it's going to reboot into Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. If everything goes according to plan, that is. And people that have stopped by my YouTube channel uh, in the last few months have known that uh, I've had quite a bit of bad luck with computers lately, so. Nothing really seems to go quite as I plan it. That's not quite down to the fact that I don't have any experience with computers, it's just that sometimes technology wants to kill you. So yeah. This is going to take a while, so I'll just be back when uh, it's finished loading, and when it's ready for the reboot into Ubuntu 12.04. Okay, we're ready for a reboot, as you can see here. So let's do that. Come on, do something. Is that exactly a speed demon? But then again, it's quite an old machine, of course. I mean, this is a early 2004 model, so... Okay, a little beep there. Yeah, we're getting there. Still thinking about it. And it ejects the disk. There you go. Alrighty. Alright. Hmm. 
Hmm, I think it actually crashed. No, it didn't, okay. That's surely a lot quicker than before. Now we're just waiting for the video to appear. There we go. In terms of boot times, it, this is about equal to OS X Leopard, so... It's not all bad. You are now offline. Like I give a damn. Ooh, that's one sick sounding fan. This machine is slowly just starting to show signs that it might not be with us for much longer. But yeah, I'll just make the best of it. If this thing actually dies, then I'm just going to save up and buy myself an older type of MacBook. Intel, of course. Because that is just a good way to uh, get to know PowerPC as a platform didn't load all that slowly so that was system settings okay incomplete language support I put it to on English cut damn okay brightness and lock Oh my god. That fan sounds awful. Absolutely awful. Okay. Ten twenty four by seven sixty eight. Is the appropriate appropriate resolution? Okay. Everything seems all right. Hmm. Detail system. Okay. Let's see. Altavec supported. Okay, that's good. Graphics unknown. Okay, so it hasn't actually found a driver yet. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to hook it up to the Ethernet, download the Wi Fi driver, set that up, download the video driver, and then everything should be fine and dandy. I'll make a follow up video on that when everything is up and running. This is just, uh, you know, the installation and booting of, of the hard drive. So, Hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.